Do you know what celiac disease is and how it affects the global population? Celiac disease, a common autoimmune disorder, impacts approximately 1% of the global populace. It's a condition where the body sees gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, rye, and some oats, as an enemy invader. This perception triggers an immune response that doesn't aim for the gluten. Instead, it attacks the small intestine's lining. This immune response specifically targets the villi, tiny finger-like projections lining the intestine, essential for the absorption of nutrients. When celiac disease strikes, these villi can become damaged or flattened, a condition known as villus atrophy. This damage hampers the small intestine's ability to absorb vital nutrients effectively, leading to various nutrient deficiencies. This can result in conditions like anemia and osteoporosis. The diverse symptoms of celiac disease range from gastrointestinal issues like diarrhea, abdominal pain and bloating, to systemic symptoms such as anemia, fatigue and joint pain. You may wonder how is celiac disease diagnosed and treated? The diagnosis of celiac disease involves a two-step process. Firstly, serologic or blood tests are conducted to identify the presence of specific antibodies, like the tissue transglutaminous antibodies. Following this, an intestinal biopsy is performed, which is considered the gold standard for diagnosis. This procedure confirms the presence of villus atrophy, the telltale sign of celiac disease. Now let's talk about treatment. The only current treatment for celiac disease is a lifelong adherence to a strict gluten-free diet. This approach involves the complete avoidance of gluten-containing grains. With this diet, many patients experience a significant reduction in symptoms and healing of the intestinal mucosa within weeks to months. However, maintaining this diet is not without challenges. Gluten is ubiquitous in food products, and there's always a risk of cross-contamination. Patient education and regular follow-up are crucial for effective management of celiac disease. What does the future hold for celiac disease patients? Well, that's a question on many minds, and fortunately, researchers are on it. Recent studies are focusing on alternative treatments that could potentially change the game for celiac patients. One of them is enzyme therapy, an approach that aims to break down gluten in the stomach before it reaches the small intestine, thus preventing the damaging immune response. Another promising area of research is gluten-free grain breeding. Scientists are experimenting with creating varieties of wheat and other grains that don't contain the harmful gluten proteins, opening the door to a wider range of food choices for those with celiac disease. But let's not forget, the primary goal here is to improve the quality of life for those affected. It's about ensuring they can manage their condition effectively while minimizing the impact of dietary restrictions. Celiac disease's management revolves around a gluten-free diet, a challenging yet essential aspect for preventing long-term complications and improving patient outcomes. With the advancement in research the hope is to develop easier and more effective management strategies.